Hello, my friends, relatives, and esteemed colleagues. I want to give some thought for food regarding to those uh, things that are supposedly protecting us. And um, this spikies that our body is producing and actually killing us. Now, I tried to explain through a variety of my videos and articles that body is absolutely perfectly designed electronic robot. And uh, it never does produce anything that is going to kill it. I have mentioned very often that such an animal called uh, autoimmune disease is a fragment of a fiction, fragment of imagination. It does not exist. Now how come that body is brought into position that it creates so much inflammation that basically it stays debil? Well, because we are being misled in believing, understanding inflammation, we are being duped into thinking that inflammation is a reaction towards some kind of internal fighting. Gen anti gen. Toxin anti toxin. And this is what causes, causes inflammation. In which way? <laughs> hormones, this, hormones, that. No, baloney. I've explained, and this was not originally my idea also, this kind of was built up of accumulated knowledge and especially reinforced by Dr. Batmanjeli and um, his teachings on water and uh, hydration. So when you think about it, it becomes obvious that inflammation is nothing more than forced hydration of particular tissue. It could involve organ, it could involve more tissues, more organs. And what triggers it is the increased acidity, but it can also be triggered by increased toxicity that has to be dealt with, washed away. When you cut yourself, why do you have inflammation there right away? Because the blood vessels constrict in the area of injury. It is not only to stop bleeding or slow down the bleeding. It is actually to prevent garbage to go into the body. Because when you constrict artery, it's like constricting a hose, garden hose. What happens? The pressure builds up in the hose. And then through more pressure, water through smaller orifice goes out and squirts further. But same amount is passing through as it would normally, but through smaller orifice under higher pressure. So you actually, when you have a cut, you're actually squirting out to flush the area. And at the same time, a vein has constricted, so less is being absorbed, so dirt doesn't enter. This is how this robot was programmed. Of course, no doctor understands this because we are not equipped to think, just to repeat nonsense we are being told. Script readers. 
why this happens inside of the body and how does that cause inflammation? Well, if you have a tissue, if you can think of tissue as a sac, and then you have an artery coming on one side and vein coming out and the blood is coming inside, nourishing the cells and then comes out through the vein. Now, if you constrict both ends, you are going to have a build-up pressure on the artery, which coincidentally, if you are talking about a major inflammation, will increase your blood pressure. And on one side of the body more than on the other side, on the side where the problem is occurring. But it increases the back pressure, but then it continues squirting the blood with the same volume, only through smaller orifice in higher pressure into this tissue, into this bag. But because you have a vein constriction, now first pressure has to build up in this tissue before it can go out with the same speed. And this is what we call inflammation. The sac fills up and pressure builds up. And depending on how much constriction there is, depends how much pressure will be formed. Through this pressure, body usually tries to push some water into the cells, into these sponges. And this way, the cell will contain more water to do certain things. And this is a typical, uh, very easy to realize when you understand what allergies okay if you have a, some protein foreign protein stuck to the cell the cell wants to wash it off so it needs to squirt some water if it does not have water to squirt because it is dehydrated the body goes into forced hydration it has to first put some plasma additional plasma into the cell and there is no way that this can be delayed so the whole body doesn't inflame, but the tissue, the area, inflames, pushes some water in, and then the cell can use the water and, and flush off the allergen. Allergen, the foreign protein. There is no battle going on anywhere. Colleagues, start thinking, start using this equipment you got here. So, now when we go into these protection things, so what happens? A lot of toxic stuff comes in. And we know now, basically, from investigators, what they found. There are different soups of toxins produced by Faustaf and his minions. So, what happens? The body immediately tries to cleanse it out. It can't if you are low on plasma. So, it spreads through the body. It doesn't get cleansed out. You need water to wash it. If you don't have it, tough deal. And what is in that things so far as we know? All kind of other types of virus things, which I have explained that this animal doesn't exist. It's a toxic cocktail, which creates certain reactions. So some of it creates what we call HIV, some of it call what we call chickenpox or smallpox and bigpox and shitpox, herpes, and all kinds of other stuff. Well, all this now is being pushed into this life-saving sting. And hope was that 
people will start showing these symptoms. But instead of this, we are being told body start producing spikies. Another invention. If that would be case, if the body starts now producing something, this spiky that actually now creates a deterioration of the body, then we don't need any other sting. One is enough. The body will do the rest. Well, it ain't happening because the stinky is imagination again. It doesn't happen. But inflammations, yeah. Why? Well, because number one, our cells are toxic and they are already dehydrated. And more dehydrated you are, the worst reaction you are going to have on a cellular level. And on the other side, body is trying to eliminate these things. For this again, it needs water. And if these things, they are, we know now they are electromagnetic in nature, and they start interfering with organ, they start sticking to the cell, well now, the cell goes into allergic reaction. And you are going to have small inflammations all over the place. Because cell will need water to get rid of this stuff. It doesn't have it, it got to soak it up through force hydration because it does not want to engage osmotic pump since the blood is toxic. It doesn't want to absorb the stuff. So now it's going to be forced to take some of the liquid. But it can do it even through closed membrane because as soon as toxicity in the body increases, in the blood, in the blood then cells are being worn and they start producing stress uh, proteins, heat proteins, to reinforce the membranes. So now less water can even come to flush those cells, but also the toxin cannot come inside. And now only through forced hydration, where the pressure of the water is increased, so water can go, but not the toxic particles because they are larger. And then cell has some water available now to uh, peel this toxin stuff out. But you are going to have many inflammations. Is there a spiky? I don't think so. It is just basic working of this robot, which doctors don't understand because we are being brainwashed into some chemical baloney science. It's pure physics. It's all pure physics. Electricity, vibration, electromagnetism. And all the new equipment for healing will be based on this and are based on this, including the medbeds. So, now, to scare population even more. We are being presented with some vials of other viral elements. And of course, everything is being sprayed. Even here in jungle, we have at night plain spraying. This goes on a food, it's pure poison, come into the body, and now we have different things happening in different areas. We have a foot and mouth disease spreading in some areas, smallpox in others. There could be a swine flu. They can tell you whatever they want because the culprit doesn't exist. It's all based on a toxic soup that comes into our body, but what comes through uh, our food, through mouth, 
usually body doesn't want to absorb but it creates the problems so this is where comes the foot and mouth disease if it comes on a skin and through the skin they come to chicken pox smallpox so we are being bombarded now in this time we are going through the worst times and the fear actually is creating two things it's waking up people but it's also empowering the evil because this is their energy and since their mind is disconnected from the soul and they don't use brain for thinking same as anybody else so they're not really realizing what is happening they feel more powerful and they're bubbling to the surface for everyone to see giving stupid statements doing stupid things which are now very transparent just look and this is all necessary so all the scum comes to the surface and it can be eliminated so yes for some people it's hard to see this is why I don't watch I don't look at this stuff because I want to sleep well I know what's happening I know why it's happening this is enough I don't need to see the details but some people are not happy until they see everything and then they start throwing up and they feel sick and then well your choice you do what you want my wife is also not happy until she sees something I, I gotta see another I don't believe nothing and then when she saw one baby being born here locally and has a multiple arms and legs look like a squid she couldn't sleep then she got, went through detox she started feeling cold then light fever drained of energy and night later morning after strong diarrhea Pew! shut all this toxic energy out yeah but she's well hydrated so please do yourself a favor use the self healers protocol hydrate if nothing else if you don't want to change diet fine hydrate with plasma just keep in mind that symptoms will show up because your body goes immediately in detox and detox through three organs check my videos read my articles educate yourself and this goes for doctors more than anybody else because doctors are supposed to be the one helping not the one killing thank you for listening i hope this goes through <laughs> love you all bye